Hello everyone, this is Jocelyn, the Quantum Queen. So I was feeling really inspired by Spirit to jump on today to do a Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine reading just for people who are going through those relationships. And um, I'm going to see what Spirit's going to pull up because I do have a feeling that we're, I'm going to be tapping into different collectives, different energies of people, you know, what they've been going through, maybe people that have been through a recent separation with their twin or a soulmate or anyone that they might have been in a relationship with, with either your divine masculine or your divine feminine, whoever is watching this video. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with that. We'll just kind of go and sit, go ahead and see what messages spirit would like to communicate with everyone. So as you guys can see, I'm starting out with the romance angels. And I'm just going to see what pops up. You know, usually I kind of do it planned out where Divine Masculine's over here, Divine Feminine's over here. But I actually feel like this might be a little bit um, impromptu. We shall see what Spirit's going to kind of just tell me in the moment, okay? So let's see what pulls up. That's our first one. So we've got, let your friends help you, okay? So it says, ask for and accept support from others. So, Divine Masculine or Divine Feminine, whoever is watching this video, I feel like if you are kind of struggling with some type of separation with a relationship with a twin, like if you're, if you guys aren't talking, it's definitely time to open up to love in other relationships, especially with friendships. You know, I think that's going to be the really big key to healing is letting other people into your space, you know, because that's kind of the step and the process we have to take when we heal, especially going out of a breakup or any type of deception or heartbreak that you've been in a relationship. The first kind of step, especially if you've been in hermit mode and you're just kind of detached from people because you felt that pain and you've got your guard up. The first kind of easy step is going out and being with friends. It really is because friends, it's a really great way to have boundaries, you know, like you're not as intimate with them as you are in a very close, intimate relationship. You're kind of just like, you can talk to them when you feel like, you know, there aren't as many expectations. So that's really a great way for you to kind of like, you know, dip your toe back into the water and kind of like test it out and, and get out there a little bit is by making friends. So that is definitely the main thing Spirit is saying is if you have been in hermit mode, it, it might be time to really just kind of like get out of your shell and open up to just friendships right now so that you can really start opening up to love and joy and friendship because those that's going to really open up your energy and really open up your heart big time, okay? And I feel like especially having fun and being with friends would really help distract you from any pain that you might be dealing with, okay? And that I'm feeling is the next one. Yep. And love yourself first. So I feel like it's kind of what I'm saying. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. But to me, this is about that... If you've come out of a relationship, especially if you've had to put your boundaries up with a twin, with a divine that you've been in a relationship with, then that right there, that was kind of the first step to loving yourself first. You put your boundaries up and you decided, I don't deserve to be treated like this and I'm going to go in this different direction. And so maybe you had to separate yourself from this relationship, but again, this it's kind of time I feel like since you put that boundary up and you started loving yourself first and deciding that you just you you deserve to be treated better in a relationship than what this partner was giving you so you put that boundary up and you loved yourself first and now you actually stepped into a higher vibration even though you might be in hermit mode and maybe still protecting yourself You've actually proven vibrationally, like you've stepped in kind of a new you to where I feel like it really would be great to open up to friends and different relationships to see, like, to really let you bloom further. I, I just keep hearing that it's going to bring so much healing 
to reaching out and making friends, whether it's through like social media, you know, if that, that to me kind of helps with boundaries as well, because then you're not expected all the time to go and hang out with friends, <laughs> like in real life. If you're still kind of merging out of hermit zone, social media and such is a great, great way to start kind of getting out there a bit. And then the last one we've got here is release your ex. So I definitely feel like it's time to let them go. You know, it's really time to let this person go, let their energy go and really start getting out there to make friends. This is still, I think, holding you back. If you're still kind of holding on to what has happened, and this doesn't even have to totally mean of always like let the person go or cut things off it just means release the energy because if it's not in your reality right now and it's keeping you from living your life to your fullest and really enjoying your life let them go let that energy go cut it out it doesn't mean anything that you guys won't get to back together there's always a possibility if both of you vibrationally raise to a certain point and you're compatible that could happen spirit will always bring back what is meant to be i will tell you that for sure but it is up to you to really let go of that energy because it's kind of like old. When we talk about X, it's just like old energy that you've got to get out of the way. And to me, I kind of look at it in a different way where if you're holding on to sadness and depression about an old relationship, you're just reliving the memories over and over again and it doesn't get you anywhere. Again, you're not even living your life, you know, and that's definitely the energy I feel like spirit wants to help whoever out with whoever's meant to hear this message to really release that energy and start moving forward so that you can start enjoying your life and like I said I feel like friendships are really going to be the next step forward putting yourself out there and actually, if you guys are interested, I've been putting together kind of like a, if like a little communi a community in Discord, and I'll put the information down below. It's a free little community, but I've been p trying to start putting it together for Twin Flames, kind of like a little support group where people can talk to each other. So you can kind of click the link down below. It's called Discord and it's a free app. It's free everything. But you guys, if you're wanting a little more support and kind of guidance to um, moving through your twin flame journey or making friends that are like minded and have a similar mindset, you can definitely join down below and just click that link because, you know, that's definitely the thing that I've been wanting to put together is people with these like-minded experiences that we can all come together and support each other on this journey and then make really great friendships and connections in the process. So that one I'm feeling. Okay, so we've got eight of rings or eight of pentacles. Okay, so this to me is really about work. It's like working with something or maybe even working with other people, but it's really diving into something that you enjoy doing. Okay, and especially the eights. Eights are more about new beginnings, but the main thing about the eight number in numerology is it's kind of about building an empire and kind of maybe building your own business. So divine feminine or masculine, maybe like this is a really great time for you to start really putting your focus and attention on what you're passionate about. Definitely. I mean, that's kind of how it is in general. Like when we focus on ourselves and what we love to do in life and what we're passionate about, what we're good at, our talents and abilities, that helps us to move on from these relationships. Because here we've got the devil. So I can definitely see someone here is just kind of like almost addicted to living in the past on this relationship, okay? It's kind of like you're still addicted to thinking about everything in the relationship, what was good, like, I can feel some people are still just kind of thinking about, oh, but I miss this, I miss that. And that's okay if you think about it, but try to redirect it in a different way where you think of it in a, in a good way. You know, think of it like, I'm so grateful I had that relationship and I learned what I don't want. I learned what didn't work. 
And that's why I love this next card coming out. It's the strength card. Okay, so this whole process is making you stronger. Okay, I know that that's always the thing that it may be a little bit hard to take a little bit, but and it seems so easy. Yeah, it's making you strong. No, these relationships, these divine relationships happen to show us our strength. They crack us open and really release all of our fears so that once you live your fears and you live through them, you can look back and say, wow, all of my deepest fears happened and they didn't kill me. Like the person that I loved the most in this world left me and I'm fine. I'm still alive. I'm strong. I'm able. I'm capable. And I'm going to pull out of this. So it's really about changing your perspective on how you look at the relationship because that is what this whole relationship is all about. It's why these divine relationships come into our experience. They teach us how to set boundaries. They teach us how to love ourselves first. And look at this. We've got the fool. So here's this new beginning. I, it's right here. Divine feminine or divine masculine. This is absolutely what this whole relationship brought is bringing about is this brand new beginning. This is the major arcana, the very first card in the deck. So it's all about a new start, a new journey, a new beginning. So this is a really great thing. So that's why I really let go of this old energy. Let it go. Whatever is meant to happen is meant to happen. And that's how you can kind of relieve yourself in a way too, is it might be a little bit stressful or painful to completely think of cutting out this person in your life. So if that is the case for you, then it might be easier to just realize that this person isn't here right now. They're not in my life and I've got to let it go. I've just got to start enjoying my life because I my happiness and my joy is more important to me than holding on to the past. So I hope that helps. You know, that definitely is in the past something that I've had to think of to move forward so I didn't just get, get caught up in the depression of the ending of the relationship. So try to think those more positive thoughts that are just kind of like easing the pain a little bit. They're, they're, you know, kind of slowly <laughs> moving you past the pain. Okay. So let's see what else spirit wants to pull out here to clarify this. Cause I definitely want to see what's coming up with this new beginning. I feel like this is a really fresh, I, I, I knew it. I love that this popped out. Yep. It's, um, here we've got the page of wands. So it's a new passionate beginning, a very, something new, but you are going to be very passionate about it. There's going to be a lot of fire energy that really lights you up and you'll be learning so much from it. It's a new chapter and a new phase. And I definitely feel like these friends are going to help you in that direction, help you go where you need to go. I love that that came out next. So let's see what came up. What is coming up next? Yep. So we've got temperance here, okay? So this, I definitely feel coming with this energy here is it's going to be a new chapter, a new beginning where you're going to feel much more balanced in your emotions because you'll feel so passionate and you'll be doing things that you love to be doing. You'll be in relationships and friendships with people that you really feel passionate about and you're going to feel just like, life is finally balancing out, especially after all this pain that you've been through, all of this, you know, kind of devil energy, shadow work, you know, things that you've had to work on in your subconscious, like karmic energy, that is balancing out with this new beginning. Absolutely. I can see that temperance card is really evening out all the energy in here. Okay. So let me pull out just a couple more clarifiers on this. Yep, that one wants to. Nine of Cups. So we've got um, a lot of wish fulfillment, okay? Um, I'm not going to take any reversals, okay? So that's why I'm flipping them back upside, back right side up. So the Nine of Cups, this is all about really making wishes and 
wish fulfillment, okay? So I definitely feel like this new beginning is absolutely positively going to be like your wishes and your dreams being fulfilled. Um, and just about, and you'll, and I feel like, okay, this is the energy that I'm feeling. It says it's balancing you out and there's these new passions happening. It's this page energy where it's still kind of new and youthful. You'll be learning a lot about your passions. This nine of cups is almost like, it's not quite the 10 where it's like ultimate, ultimate fulfillment in relationships and partnerships. It's like, you're still going, you're going to be so balanced and so passionate about this new beginning that you're going to start getting into this momentum of creating even more dreams and positivity that you want, because you're going to start seeing that this is creating all this positive momentum that's going in your favor and you'll start to realize that you're this like powerful manifester i keep getting the feeling that you're seeing that you can create anything and so that's making you like kind of utilize law of attraction and start putting it out there even more you're like wow, I just manifested that. What else can I dream and think up next? So you're going to gonna kind of get on this kind of exciting high where you start realizing that your dreams and your wishes and your, you know, what you imagine in your mind, you can start manifesting it. I love that. That kind of just flew out. I feel like spirit really wanted to communicate that. So yeah, and then we've got the king of wands, okay? So this either, I feel like it's more you. I feel like um, it could be another person, okay? It could be a fire sign, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But I do feel like since it's kind of merging from this page of wands, this is you stepping into full power. It's just like I said, so here at the beginning, it's like this new journey, this new beginning. You're you're kind of in this youthful energy, learning all these new passions and creativity, like things that really light you up. And you're starting to get balanced in your emotions and you're starting to like wish and imagine even more things. And then boom, here you are stepping into full power energy where you're like so passionate about life, about creation and you just like you are stepping into your full power here i love kind of the transformation here because even the full card that can be more of a naive energy it's like a little bit of oh like scared to jump into something new it's kind of like it's going to take some courage to take this leap of faith right and dive into this new beginning and then here you are this youthful energy getting balanced realizing you're a powerful creator and then boom stepping full-blown into your power wow this is such a powerful phenomenal reading i freaking love this energy so divine feminine or divine masculine whichever is watching um this is absolutely the direction you're headed in if you just separated from a relationship and had to put boundaries up for sure yep because here we've got the six of swords okay Moving from darkness, moving from a really like dark tumultuous period in your life, moving to calmer waters, and especially this, this is what you're moving on to. Okay, this is the new beginning that you're moving to. Okay, I love that that popped out because it's just confirmation, and that card has been popping up. If you guys have been following my general weekly readings, that card has been popping out constantly constantly because that eclipse and full moon it just catapulted people and it closed it was a lot of tower moments a lot of relationships and things came to a very abrupt end because if things have come to an ending it's not a vibrational match to you any longer so that's the beautiful thing about tower moments is it's like releasing all this old energy so all this beautiful new passion can fit into our life there's room for it now okay so i love that the hanged man came out next right underneath the page of wands so i really feel like with this energy this is okay there's two different things okay this whole relationship has given you a completely new perspective on life 
on people, on how you put yourself first, on your boundaries, on people that might be taking your energy. So this, this has been such a beautiful and necessary thing for you to learn to become strong and to start changing your perspective on how you view relationships and how you view life. And it's coming more from love, you know, you've really had to crack your heart open and learn how to love instead of coming at everything from fear, okay? This is shadow work, okay? This is shadow work that's more, um, like, manipulating and operating from fear. Here's strong, where it's confidence, courage, and complete transformation in energies right there. Like, total, total opposites right there, okay? But this is what was necessary. Here's the fear and then making friends with your fear. So that's what gave you this new perspective. And so that was kind of necessary for you to step into this brand new passion, right? So that's why the hanged man is coming out is because that perspective shift was necessary for this new chapter that you're going to be moving into because I feel like this strength, it was necessary. If you would have been coming into this new chapter from this fear energy, everything would have fallen apart. It was necessary to clear out all that old dead weight, that shadow work, even ancestral trauma, like ancestral patterns and, and chemical programming that's been passed down through our family. It's It doesn't work in these higher vibrational phases and chapters that we move into, okay? So here on the bottom, we've got the lovers. So I'm definitely seeing that this is you falling back in love with your life. And whenever that happens, we naturally attract another relationship or lover. Okay, so that's kind of a natural thing. But for sure, the first thing I'm seeing with this is like, it's love yourself first and you've learned how to do that. So here's the lover's card. You've fallen in love with yourself, fallen in love with your life, and obviously a relationship is going to be attracted to you because you're coming into union with yourself, with your highest self, okay? And this is, I love that it's on top of the temperance card because this lover's energy, you falling in love with your life, will come from this energy, from you becoming really balanced in yourself and your emotions, okay? So that's kind of the, the transition that will happen. This is such a beautiful energy. I'm really loving the transition here from the top. So if there are things that you are still kind of addicted to that's... Um, and even the thing that's popping out with me on the devil card is there might be some things that you might be doing to distract from feeling the emotions to really release your ex. You know, maybe you're like, this could go back to eating, having sex, um, drugs or alcohol, anything that you might be doing as an oral fixation to kind of emotionally disconnect from letting this go. That's something definitely to take a look at because that's what's going to be necessary for you to step into this strength and then move into this very new chapter of your life, okay? So I'm just going to pull up a couple more clarifying cards. Oh, yes, I'm loving, loving, loving this energy transition here. It's such a great... Definitely let friends in. Definitely start trusting again. You can still have friends and keep your boundaries up. So just remember what your boundaries are. And then that will help you to feel safe as you're letting people back into your life after you've been hurt or jaded or, you know, you feel like you haven't been able to trust people. You're at a very different vibration now. And that's why it's so important for you to cleanse these old energies. Because once you step into that higher vibration of you, you're going to be a perfect match for really beautiful relationships that are going to match your vibration, okay? But don't hold on to that old energy of fear or, you know, like being taken advantage of, you know, giving your power to other people. That just won't work in these new relationships coming in. So we've got the judgment card, okay? So definitely what I'm feeling with this is you might still be kind of like, it's like exactly what I was just saying, is you still might be kind of on edge. You might be kind of like judgmental of maybe other people because 
you might still be cautious of other people because you've been hurt so much. And so it still might be kind of like in the way a little bit. Okay. Um, the other thing I'm seeing as well is with the judgment card is that it's really important, again, like what I was saying earlier, this was all necessary so that you can make the right judgment calls in relationships for the future. Because again, this whole chapter was necessary for you to start seeing under people's masks, to be totally honest. Because more than likely, if you're watching this video, you're a very authentic person, or at least have the intentions of being authentic. And so sometimes when you get taken advantage of it's so that you can see the different energies that truly lie within a person that you can see that people aren't completely conscious that they have two sides of themselves they have a shame guilt fear aspect of themselves and then on the opposite end they have kind of like a mask or a grandiose image that they put on to cover up all their vulnerability so this was all necessary so that you can make the right judgment calls when it comes to the new chapter, but that you don't have to do it out of fear. You don't have to be afraid of people and, and afraid of what they might do to you or who might hurt you. You can stand in this power, in this strength, and just see things for what they are. You can make judgment calls right off the bat and look at people and you can see these different aspects of them. And you can really tap into your intuition and your experiences from the past, especially this last relationship, okay? Because it's going to help you see under the mask. Do you see that with this energy right here? There's a mask right there. And then this person underneath. That's why I'm saying that is because I feel like this was necessary that, so that you can always stand in your truth and your power and you can see under the mask and you don't have to be rude or anything to people. You can just make really silent judgment calls about people for your own knowledge and your own truth and walk away from certain relationships or put certain boundaries up, okay? There's a really beautiful, peaceful way of doing that and still kind of keeping a distance from people even that have a mask on, okay? But always standing in that love, you know, always standing in that truth of, you know, who you are, you know that you're the light, you're here to show up in the world as an example of who we are standing in, who we're becoming. So here we've got the Ten of Cups. I love, love, love that that came out because what did I say about the Nine of Cups, right? So... I said this is more, I said it wasn't quite the 10 because the 10 is like ultimate fulfillment in relationships and everything. Here's your 10 of cups. So I definitely feel like this is, this whole thing was necessary because here is your fulfillment. Here's your emotional fulfillment. Here's closing a chapter and, and getting all of your wishes, dreams, desires, happening like really beautiful relationships that are loving and fulfilling and um supportive you know there's an equal give and take in these relationships is definitely what i'm picking up on so yes for this whole energy whoever is watching this absolutely positively if you have separated from a person let them go it's definitely time to let it go let some friends into your life, kind of ease out into the social setting again um, at your own comfort. Kind of let some friends in so you can start dipping your toe back in the water and slowly letting people back in, okay? Because look at all this beautiful transition that's happening. There's this beautiful new chapter and here we are ending up with this ultimate fulfillment. So yes, I love, love, love this for you, Divine Feminine or Divine Masculine. Again, I feel like Spirit definitely wanted to communicate this to whoever has been struggling on letting go of this old energy. Here's your confirmation from Spirit that there's this really beautiful new chapter coming in that's going to bring you this fulfillment. Okay. So yeah, with that being said, um, I just, I really hope that brought you some clarity, guidance, peace, and I will see you guys soon for your next reading. Take care.